Hello, good evening, good evening, sparkly nails. For for New Year's Eve, I thought I'd put some some sparkle on. Look like fireworks, blue fireworks. I do love fireworks on Christmas on uh, New Year's Eve. Needless to say, I'm sure there's going to be quite a few out tonight um, because it's celebrating outdoors, isn't it? Um, I don't think the London ones are on though. So. Hope you're all going to have a, a wonderful night, or have had a wonderful night, if it is already New Year's for you. And I hope the the next 12 months bring you lots of sparkly things and happiness and sunshine and all wonderful things, girls. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? But here with a little sparkly things video for, for you to enjoy. Um, maybe into the new year if you fancy going to sleep to something. <laughs> hope I can help. What we're listening today is, again, Nemo's Dreamscapes. What can I say? He's just the best. Or well, they are just the best. I don't actually know. Um, but this is oldies playing, uh, oldies music playing in space with a space odyssey ambience. So that's lovely. Yay. Let's just hope it doesn't. Oh, yes. We've got two hours of music. That should be enough. This isn't going to be two hours long. Don't worry about that. Three little red boxes. This one. Oh, this one. I shall save till last. <laughs> this one you've already seen, though, because this was in an unbagging the other day. But, um, yeah, Kazana Jewelry. Um, it is apparently a jeweler's in, I think it's South India. So uh, I did look up some of the prices. And, um, yeah pretty decent so I'm chuffed with that and also they're just really nice as well like they're quite unusual but yeah how cool are they so obviously was really chuffed to find them lovely stuff and then in this one do you know what you know when you buy things and well I do this I forget instantly where I bought it from I remember picking it up and I remember it cost me uh, a little bit more than I wanted to spend, but I still quite liked it because it had like this with it. So this has got plique jour style enamel, which is where the enamel is see-through. You see? Plique jour, and this is in the Tiffany style. Not Tiffany as in, um, you know, like Tiffany lamp style. That's what it means in the style of Tiffany. So I just thought that was quite nice. Six pounds, that's how much I paid for that. Six, six of your earth pounds. Seeing as, ladies and gentlemen, we are floating in space. I'm gonna pop that there, why not? Why not? I can't wait to show you. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna think I'm really silly. Anyways, in this box today, some of you might have noticed this hanging up from my video the other day. I just kind of skimmed past it um, on the video. This is from my Puthcore one. But if you spotted it, well done. This is a lovely vintage necklace. Kind of hard to, to get them all around the same way sometimes. But look, beautiful gold-plated ivy leaves. And this articulated link, lovely collar length, shame no maker's mark on it, but I think absolutely gorgeous. I wouldn't be surprised if it ends up maybe being Sphinx perhaps, or no, it'd be a bit better than that maybe, but really, really lovely, gorgeous gold colour to it, and um, surprisingly, not a lot of wear. So that cost me three pounds and I was super chuffed to find that. Because I think it's beautiful. Of course I haven't tried it on and stood in front of the mirror and pretended to be Cleopatra or anything like that. Of course not. Oh, it doesn't want to twist around. I'll just leave it like that. Be a bugger then. It's fine. Make a little frame, shall we? There we go. 
Oh, now it does it. <laughs> uh, and then this one I got when I went to Brackler, which is a an estate near here. Um, if that was hung up on the shelves, I definitely, probably, almost would have passed it by. I would have had a look at the clasps because I do like these clasps. Like these are fun. It's not silver, but this is not glass. It has matrixes in it. If I can find. Can you see there? That like whitish shadow there. And then there's a bit where it's scratched. I think it's near here. And you can basically tell that it's stone and not glass. And this is onyx. And really nice, heavy, gorgeously smooth, beautifully shaped beads really really handsome and that is a collar length necklace I mean it's so smooth and it feels absolutely lovely it's really tactile the knotting is really good I think this is um like a handmade crafter item but really really good so these beads would have probably been quite expensive first off when the crafter bought them so that Nice bit of jewellery. Pick that up for five pounds, I think is definitely worth it. This one, um, I picked up for a fiver. And when I first picked it up, because my hands were so cold, I couldn't tell if the beads were cold or if they were plastic, but I thought I would take a chance on it anyway, because I thought they were a wonderful colour. And if it ended up being plastic, well then, oh well. It's got a stamp on it, so the toggle is sterling silver, and I would think that these beads probably are as well. Lovely, lovely shade of green, aren't they? And yes, they are cold beads. And, you may have guessed, turned out to be jadeite. Jade, so not nephrite this time. This is jadeite jade. So really, really super, super lovely colour. And I think that, again, the shape of the beads so unusual these conical beads so much fun isn't it really like that oh so pretty so pretty got a bangle that i found in car boot sale with carla um so this was in bristol this is 50p nice bit of celtic knotwork there and it is signed, so it's got it's stamped Scotland and then it's got a mark in there. But I haven't been able to identify who that is yet. If I'm honest, I haven't researched it really. I haven't properly looked, but there we go. So if anyone does know, hit me up. And then this one you saw me the other day, by the other day, and it was absolutely black. And I polished it up and look at it now still got a little bit of tarnish inside but I don't want to over polish things unusual little like the diamond cutting in there so I'm wondering whether that means anything see how it's like I don't know it's like the same pattern repeat does it mean something almost like little boats to me ferns and again it is stamped inside as well that was not bad for a pound they don't go for loads like these little sort of kiddies retractable crystal bracelets but you know this is cool bit of 70s modernist stainless steel um very rarely see it on a brooch um it is signed it's got Lord something something. I never noticed that until now. I'm wondering whether the pin was meant to go somewhere else, perhaps in the middle, and it's been moved. I personally would wear it, I don't know, maybe that way round and have it like as a weird off centre brooch. It's cool though. Another couple of brooches, why not? Did I buy all these together? I can't remember. Look at this chap. 
So he's in copper. I'm presuming maybe southwestern. Like with the headdress and like the feathers coming down. Great condition though, isn't it? I wouldn't have thought too old, like maybe the last 20, 30 years. And I wonder if that's leather in there. I think it might be, yeah. So that's quite bizarre, isn't it? But lovely colour on the copper. Super fun. And then this one, I always pick up the Scottish brooches. I'm not sure if it's... Oh, it is signed yet, so it is a miracle. You can just see it at the top there. So these are like faux agate stones. So this is glass. And that'll be a bit of glass in there as well. Sometimes they make them look like agate or citrine or amethyst. But it's mainly glass. But nice little shields. Good for a sash pin or a kilt pin. But Celtic stuff always goes quite well. This is another little odd one. An odd brooch. I really don't know what to make of it. What kind of era, like, I see Turkish things and Etruscan things with these sort of little nicolettes on them, or they almost look a bit like limpets. Is it limpets on the side of boats? But what does that mean? Am I even holding it the right way? I presume so, because the pin is going across like that. It's quite a hefty catch on it as well, which makes me think it might be quite old. Like, is that a snake or a serpent? Do these things mean anything? If you have any ideas, please do let me know because I'm a little bit flummoxed. This little pin I also bought from Brackler the other day and I bought it just because a nice, simple, deco style bar pin little faceted stones i just thought it was smart and you can buy many of these like fancy brooches but sometimes you just want something a bit simple don't you and why not and it's got a little bit of fuzz attached that's nice free fuzz this is gorgeous and verity yes i'll keep it aside for you <laughs> Uh, oh, you don't have to, honestly. Just, I, I bought it and I thought of you. But look, look at these gorgeous AB like stones in this lovely, almost filigree setting. Gorgeous. So another lovely collar length necklace. That's so beautiful. Almost, um, am I thinking Rococo, Baroque? If it ain't Baroque, don't fix it. But yeah, really lovely and lovely condition as well. Chuffed I picked that one up. It was the only bit of um, vintage that I saw that they had. So I was hoping that, you know, that they might bring some more out at some point. So you never know. Maybe some more from the same collection. Oh yes, this one. It was on the wrong kind of chain, so I took it off. Um, so I need to find a chain for this lady, but beautiful, kind of an alternative cameo, isn't it? Again, on possibly like a burnished copper, maybe she's brass, but gorgeous headdress and lovely uh, jewellery on her as well. Look at those cheekbones. You could slice cheese with them. But you wouldn't, because that would be weird. Um, how about a couple of nice little green things? Let's have some more green on the table. Because we like that. This was in a bag of jewellery that Carla got me. This lovely little bit of very, very cold plastic. Very cold. So I'm guessing acrylic. Don't think... Although, no, it is, it is acrylic. I'm, I keep second guessing myself thinking, is it glass? Cause it's so cold, but no, it must be acrylic. But nice faceting on it. 
I think 1970s for that one, I should imagine. And then this one I picked up the other day, a nice slice of moss agate there. In this lovely gold tone surround with a little rope twist, a little bit of wear to it, but that's not a problem. But isn't that nice? Very cool. There's some nice little greeny bits there all together. Okay, one more greeny bit because it's a weird one. A really weird one. This was in a job lot. This. Can you see it? It's not jewellery, or I'm sure, well, it probably was from a piece of jewellery. If I turn it over, oh, yeah. It's a beetle. It's a beetle that's been painted. Oh, it's a bit creepy, isn't it? Beautiful, but quite creepy. Not sure about that. Not even sure what to do with it. Oh, right. A couple of these bits are from uh, the Shalander that Sharon sent me. So this is the little purse. How adorable is that? Lovely bit of chain mail. Chain mail is so tactile, isn't it? A friend of mine's mum makes jewellery, um, like chainmail jewellery. Takes it ages. Look at that, it's so cute. So possibly, yeah, it would have kept like your rosary in there. Really gorgeous. Lovely. Another one I might need some help on. Well, we're coming to all the silver bits soon. There's quite a bit of silver in here. Um, just this, it says gold plated on the back. A pagoda? Is that a pagoda? Or another sort of temple? The gold plating is coming off in places. But I just thought that was kind of unusual. So I think pagoda. I say pagoda. You say pagoda. 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 Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Let's call the whole thing off. Oh, this guy's got a, he's got a, a, a wobbly sword. His sword is, um, it's a bit, yes, on the wonk. It's quite delicate, it's quite easy to bend, so I'm surprised that it, it hasn't actually come off. But it's cool, isn't it? Look at the knight on his horse. Um, don't think there are any marks on it. I think it's pewter rather than silver. Oh, and at some point, look, it's little... His back leg is bent there because you can see the wrinkling of it on there. So I'll have to let people know if they buy it to be quite delicate with him. The poor flower. Bless. And we've got a nice fleur de lis. Um, there are marks on it. And I think it might be silver. I'm sure I'm sure that's a mark there. And then we've got a maker's mark there. I can't remember if I tested this. But really handsome though, isn't it? That'll be nice on a gentleman's collar, don't you think? It's almost like a spaceship. Oh, Ooh, speaking of space, go on then, let's have something atomic. Because we like atomic. Not just blondie, you know. There's a couple of things. So there was this little pendant that um, I need to put on a chain. But isn't that so much fun? It looks like a virus, doesn't it? Because that's the noises that... that viruses make and then there's this fab brooch that i spent way too much on but i absolutely loved it if only the stone in the middle was red ah oh, would have been perfect but it just reminds me of you know like a a big brother's eye look it's me it's you um very like it does it just reminds me of like a kubrick film this is how close the pod bay doors ah oh. Yep, so I just loved it. It gives me the creeps a little bit, but I think it is very, 
very cool. No maker's mark on it. Couldn't really say how old it was, but it's bizarre. And that's why I spent far too much on it. But there we go. What can you do, eh? Lovely bit of lapis here. This was really filthy when I bought it as well. Filthy. But um, that's the best bit there. Look at that. It's almost like my nails, isn't it? Does need a good polish, as you can see. But nice, chunky bit there. Some people like the lapis with like the no uh, matrixes in it, but I think that's the point of it is that you've got these little like metallic flecks in there. I think it uh, it adds to it, doesn't it? It's lovely, lovely. Mm -hmm. Oh, how about? Oh God! Now we are coming to lots of bits of silver. Lots and lots cute little pocket watch though i really love the chain on it though i think that is such an unusual chain i think that's a rolled gold chain and the little are you gonna open there we go verity 17 jewels, ink a block. It's a sign. Just kidding. But it's really pretty case though, isn't it? I don't think it's particularly old. I think it's probably 80s or 90s. Da, da, da. Right, I want to show you these fabulous earrings before they get lost in everything because they're hooks and we know what hooks are like. But these are really good fun. So much silver. Look at these. Aren't these cute? Like little glass droplets. There was a second pair, but unfortunately, um, one of the droplets had broken, so I ended up using them as Christmas decorations in the doll's house. But aren't they fab? Lovely and jangly. Really like little droplets or icicles. Love them. Um, right, a couple of random bits then. Um, so there's this, which I'm a little bit confused by. So it's got the little, like that bit. I think it might be a watch fob maybe, I'm not quite sure. With a little tassel, one of the, a couple of the tassels are missing their little ends, and a hook, which you can hook in a number of places, and then little stations. So I don't know. Let me know what you think it might be. It's probably really obvious. And then also this one. Now this one is really weird. I'm thinking that maybe this pins to a collar, and then this bit dangles? So you have like three rows like that. Hmm. It's odd. But again, let me know what your thoughts are on them. Do, do, do. Oh. So this was in the job lot the other day. So, oh, look, it's a bee. It's a bee. So I might have to send it to Nat if she wants it. Well, not send it to her. I'll give it to her in person when I see her next. Um, but look, isn't that a cute little bee? I was hoping, I mean, it is uh, gold-plated sterling silver, so this is gold for me. But um, I was hoping that it might be a designer one, but I don't think it is. It looks quite Alex Munro, but not enough. If you see what I mean? But super cute. So I don't know if Nat wears gold stuff. I shall check with her. But yeah. That could be for her, because why not? We all deserve a little something. Some of the Shalander stuff again. Look at that ring. Look at it. That is beautiful, isn't it? Garnets are such a lovely colour. 
And I love how it's put with tiny, tiny pearls on the marker seats. Beautiful. That is a hefty ring as well. Fair play. That's a wee beastie. I don't think it's particularly old. I think it's done um, in like a vintage style, but um, so it's, I mean, it probably is vintage technically, but I don't think it's, you know, antique. That's what I mean. Nice little chain here. So these are silver beads. I think they're called bugle beads, aren't they? And then it's on an actual silver rope chain underneath. Always a nice sign of quality, I think, when beads are on chain but quite handsome and I think that should have like a nice hefty cross on it perhaps something like that or a St Christopher would be really cool a little bit of sort of tie there sort of version of Damascene I suppose got this tiny little pendant that's been pinned to this sterling cyan and it's got a little tie dancer on the front But I'm wondering if it's done the same way as Damascene. Like if that's inlay. Yeah, could be. Just interesting. And pure sterling silver. So that, that's always nice, isn't it? Um, you saw me pick this up the other day for two ninety nine. So this is the little... Um, right, that is nine karat gold that heart on the front, that heart on the back, and then the little bow and the binding is nine karat gold. And then I think the outer bit of the casing is gold plated silver. So again, it's gold for me. And if you can see like these little holes there, so that's where there would have been a whole bunch of rubies, but it's missing some, which is a shame. Cause that is super cute. I doubt if it's worth actually getting um, rubies put in, but I might, I mean, I don't want to scrap it, you know, it is too pretty to scrap, isn't it? So I'm wondering whether to maybe just put some little glass stones in there just to, you know, to bring it back a little bit to how it was. Gorgeous little bit of possibly Czech or Austrian um, stones to look like turquoise. It's not turquoise, you can't feel the matrix, this is glass, but really, really lovely stamp brass with these lovely prong set stones in them. Most certainly like uh, turn of the century, I should imagine, like in the tens, but Lovely colours, pretty women, do, 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 do. and some sparkly clip-ons, sparkly clip-ons, missing a stone, missing a stone, balls, <laughs> always happens doesn't it, I've got some more, oh yes I picked this up in Hitchin actually, spent 12 14 pounds on it way too much but I know that this is a weird symbol for something and I think it's Icelandic and I think it might be Icelandic or AE I don't know but I think it's Icelandic for like friends or family or something it's got some cool meaning and I'm sure I've had it before so I liked it anyway um it has got just silver 925 on the back um, and I'm pretty sure it's artisan made, but it's cool. So I will properly look that out. I tried a Google image search on it and found similar, but not exactly that one. Some little sparklies. I know that's not a pair. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. See, there's that one. They're adorable, aren't they? And then, where's the other one gone? Come on, how to come? There we go. Aren't they cute? Now I wonder if you had pierced ears, like two pierced ears, whether you could wear like that, you know? That would be cool. I'm considering getting my second hole pierced again. I used to have quite a few in each ear, and then I only went down 
like to one. So I'm wondering whether whether I might do that. I mean, it's no biggie, is it? Getting your ears pierced. This is unusual because I don't think this is how it's meant to be. So I think this probably was a dress clip that has been turned into a pendant. It's got a lovely shape on it, isn't it? It's just missing one tiny little stone from in there, but not really like you'd notice. But yeah, it's cool how something can have like another life afterwards, isn't it? So it was a broken dress clip and someone just went, yeah, but I still like wearing it. Right, this I paid a lot of money to get fixed. Was it worth it? Who knows? But I bought it for five pounds and it had a really badly glued in, just blue um, like foil back stone and it looked awful. So I took it to my jewelers who put in this gorgeous opal triplet in it. And that means it's onyx at the bottom, opal, and then a thin layer of uh, quartz over the top. She gave me a choice of three opals and I chose this one and she agreed with me that it was a fine choice because look at that colour change in there. I did pay £30 to get it fixed, but I think worth it because now it's not an ugly bit of jewellery. Now it's absolutely stunning and that is going to remind someone of either their time in Australia, or their family in Australia, or their history, or their future. Beautiful. Gorgeous stone, and I'm really glad I did it. I know I'm not going to earn loads of money from it, but sometimes that doesn't matter, does it? Got some more lovely earrings. Got these little silver and pearl ones with little hearts. They're very cute. And there are ones from the Shalinda. It's got these gorgeous ones with like almost like cat's eye stones in them. And then these ones, which are my, oh wait, hang on. And then there was these little knot ones, but my absolute favorite, and I'm sure Sharon will probably agree and that's why she put them in if i can find the other one. Oh no where have you gone are you hiding well there's one of them oh no it is just a pendant no i'm dreaming sorry i thought there was earrings but no it was a pendant just look he's a little bat and he's upside down and he's holding on to his little crystal isn't that so cute I love him. I actually love him. Completely adorable. And he's going in my collection because I think he's so cute. And then this another lovely little garnet ring. Almost looks like wreaths, doesn't it? Like a laurel wreath. Put that there. So the garnets can be together. And then there was this gorgeous little thing, but now I've had this one before and it really reminds me of a Liberty print. Certainly of an Art Deco fan. I haven't yet looked up um, the name on it, but really lovely. It looks almost, I've always thought thimbles look like Welsh lady hats as well. <laughs> Some Adorable stuff coming, like adorable. If any of you like silver charms, I found these the other day. Oh, so cute. A little field mouse. Cute. Mouse and bat. And a tiny little rocking chair. I love little charms. My sister has a silver charm bracelet. Um... I didn't have one. My sister also got christened and I didn't and, you know, there's no bitterness or anything. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Right. Hang on, hang on. Got one little <laughs> gold pearl earring. I don't know why that's in here. 
I was probably trying to sort things out and one pearl drop earring. And then, oh no, I'll, I'll keep that one aside because that was some of my, um, oh no, that is a pair. Hold on, bear with. Right, so that is a pair of pearls. So some Tahitian pearl drops on sterling silver. They're pretty. A little silver stacking ring. So dainty. This is cool. So we've got the little, I mean, can we say Guinness harp? It's sort of like a Guinness harp in the wishbone. So nice for New Year's, a bit of good luck, isn't it? With all these lovely sparkly marker seats. Really lovely. This is sterling silver. And I think, again, that'll be such a lovely gift, wouldn't it? I know we're past gifting season, but, you know. Gift for a Guinness fan. <laughs> or for someone who wants some, some good luck. And then this, we've got a sterling silver brooch. But this is really interesting. Look, the General Nursing Council for England and Wales. So, I've had one similar before. And somebody said that they got one. I think it was someone in the chat. I can't remember who, sorry. Said that um, they got them when they completed like proper nurses training, like nursing school, whereas that doesn't tend to happen now. Um, but that's fab, isn't it? That's someone's little bit of history there from when they qualified. Really cool. Lovely to have a bit of history, isn't it? And then back to me, like, fixing a bit of history and I couldn't not do it is this brooch so again this is for my collection so that's why I wanted it fixed it was missing I think in total nine marker seat and two stones like two big stones and then um some of these like corner green stones there is a slight differing a slight differing in color with the ones that they replaced but I think it is blooming beautiful and I absolutely love it and I think it was worth getting it fixed because oh just gorgeous really gorgeous more green stuff over here so you another couple of little bits and then I'll get round to the the manifesting the manifesting things some gorgeous, oops, little black glass, faceted black glass on gold. They're not stamped gold, but they're testing as gold. Little hooks. I think these are probably quite old. They're so simple. See, they've got just like the tiny little diamond of gold detail there. Really simple, but they're so pretty. See, when people do like flapper costumes and think and things, they always think they have to go like full on, you know, art deco, big things. Whereas like that would actually be perfect for something like that, wouldn't it? Well, a couple of um, cute little necklaces. This one's rather lovely, I think. Would you say that that was an initial J with some vines around it? I think so. Um, just stamp 925, but that's rather smart, isn't it? I think that is going to be a white rose there, Yorkshire rose possibly as well. So, someone from Yorkshire, beginning with Jay, that likes silver necklaces, that's who it's meant for. And then I've got this cute little, almost Tiffany style necklace. See, it's, it is signed on the back, but it's not Tiffany. And there, in there, the tiny little diamond. So I'll be um, putting lots of heart-shaped stuff up soon, maybe. Maybe. I say I'll do that, but I've got plans for January, which is basically just list as much as I can. Not necessarily just heart-shaped stuff, just everything. <laughs> so that I can hopefully bring in some, you know, some more stuff. I can have more of a backlog then. <laughs> oh, I know. 
Right, so manifesting things. For quite a while now, I've said about how I wanted Mickey Moto pills, just a Mickey Moto pill, and that would be pretty cool. This isn't one, I'm sorry, no, it isn't one. At least I don't think so. It is signed, I think M something, and that is 14 karat gold, but I don't think this is a Mickey Moto pill, but it is lovely. A lovely proper Tahitian pearl. So I was quite happy to find that because that'll that'll do as a you know a little placekeeper for now because it's lovely. But what I did find in Bristol was it in Bristol? Well I was definitely with Carla was this. Are you ready? <gasps> it's an empty box. I know, I know, but it's an empty Mickey Moto box. So, I am manifesting my pills. I've already got the box for them. So universe, universe, Mickey Moto, please. <laughs> and whatever else the universe deems me appropriate to have. So there we go, folks. I hope you've enjoyed that. Got lots of lovely green bits here, haven't we? And um, I hope you like that I've had some things fixed and that I might fix another few bits. If there is anything that you do fancy for yourself or as a gift for someone else, but again, mainly for yourself, please do let me know. Underneath here in the description box is my email address and you can contact me through there. Please not through ebay or etsy or anything like that because we will both get told off mm -hmm. so there have a absolutely wonderful new year i hope it brings you lots of sparkly nails sparkly bits and sparkly things in your life so until next time bye bye now bye bye happy new year